Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to answer a question that I get a lot, a lot like, you know, every single day, at least five to six different people ask me the same question. And uh, I thought I'll make a video rather than typing in the same answer to each one of you. Okay. So the question is, which is the best violin for a beginner? Or you ask me to help you find a violin or choose a violin or, you know, um, an online link where you can find a good violin. Okay. And uh, one other question also is how much uh, is my violin, th this, this particular violin that I play and what brand or a company this one is. Okay. So the very first thing I want to say, and I t say this all the time, and this has been my answer to everyone who asks this question. Please, please, please do not buy violins online. Acoustic violins. Okay, these are acoustic violins. The hardwood ones are acoustic violins. And we have electric violins, we have acoustic violins. Now it's it's a bit different with electric violins. Electric violins, yes, you can go buy them online. Even I bought my Yamaha and Cantini. Both of those violins I bought online. Okay. But electric violins are a bit a little different because it's not just the violin itself, but it depends on the preamp, the amplifier, the sound card that you use, the interface, the DAW, the software that you use to edit, record the sound. So there are many, many, many things that go into an electric violin. Buying an electric violin and playing the electric violin, you won't get a sound. You need something. You need an, at least an amplifier or an interface to the computer. That's not the case with acoustic violins. Okay. And with electric violins, there are many reviews, like if you take Cantini violence, for example, you can go online, you can go uh, on YouTube and uh, like electric violin shop or fiddler shop. They, they do a lot of um, reviews on the violence, okay? mainly electric violence. So you'll get an idea how, uh, how do those electric violence sound and you can make a decision based on that. That's not the case with acoustic violence. Electric violence. You have Yamaha, Cantini, even India made Tulsi. So you have brands for that. That's not the case with acoustic violence. Acoustic violence, you really don't have a particular brand. I cannot say, okay, go buy a Yamaha acoustic violin. No, I cannot say that because each and every acoustic violin is different. See, whether you buy a hundred dollar violin, thousand dollar, ten thousand dollar, a million dollar violin, at the end of the day, it's the sound that's the most important thing, not just for violence, for any instrument. This applies to any instrument, whether you're sitar, veena, guitar, violin, even flute, any acoustic ones, you know, if you're buying them, do not buy them online because you don't know how those sound. Okay, mainly the acoustic ones, acoustic ones, you should always go visit a music instrument store near you. Okay. If you are in US, you will find music instrument stores in every single city. You know, there is a Samash, there is Guitar Center, there are many others, or there are even luthiers. Luthiers are someone who actually make these violins. Okay. They handcraft these violins. Okay. So you can find many, but if you are in India, even in India, there are many, 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 many musical stores. You can find a musical instrument store in every single major city. Okay. If there isn't one near you, try to find something near a city near you. Okay. You will definitely have a musical instrument store there. Okay. Why I say not to buy a violin online? Because first thing is, like I said, the sound is the most important thing. How do you know how a violin sounds? So you go to Amazon, you look up a violin, it's say 5,000 rupees. How does it sound? How do you know? You get it and then you start playing, it has all that screechy sound or a nutty sound and the, uh, you know, a very sharp sound. And, and then you regret buying it, right? So for that reason, and also the other thing is, you should know how that violin feels in your hand. Okay, because everyone's uh, body type is different. You know, you each, each and every person is not the same, right? Everybody has their own body type. Okay, 
And these violins, when you hold them, they need to feel good in your hand. Okay, because I had a violin um, which was a little, little smaller than this one. Okay, it was a full size violin, but it was a little bit smaller than this one. So I used to bend a lot. Now with this violin, I, do, I don't bend that much. Okay, so this is more comfortable for me. Okay, so you need to look. And again, you know, the, the one uh, that I said, it's a much smaller than this one. I actually bought that online and see how I regret buying a violin online because you, you cannot play them up front and know how they would sound and how they would, uh, you know, adjust to your, your body type, okay? So for that reason, what are you supposed to do? Go to a musical instrument store near you to, and, you know, look, look don't, don't just look one violin or, you know, if the store owner shows you one violin, don't just stick to that. Ask them to show as many violins as possible, okay? And don't give away your budget upfront because they are going to put a tag on a violin, uh, which might be even less than that, just because you told them, okay, I'm looking for something in 10,000 range. Then they'll put a uh, 6,000 violin in your hand, say that is 10,000, okay? So don't do that. So go to a violin store, musical instrument store, try out a couple of violins and see which one sounds good, okay? And, you know, also, if you see the the finish of the violin the seams because see all these are you know glued up together you know this is a separate piece this is a separate piece this is a separate piece and all this so you need to make sure that you know all the seams are proper the bridge is in the straight line um, you know the fingerboard is you know it, it's correct and aligned you know the strings are correct the uh, tail piece is correct you know, the chin rest, the scroll, each and everything. Now, you might ask me a question. Sir, I'm a very beginner. I have never played violin. How would I know which sound is good? Right? You know, that's, that's, and that's a valid question. For that same reason, I always say, instead of buying a violin first, first join a class. First join a guru. First look out for a teacher. Okay? And once you join a class and look out for a guru or a teacher, and if you're doing an in-person or if the teacher lives within your area, then ask them to come with you to a musical instrument store and go to the store and buy the violin along with them because they will help you. And also see, the people who own the musical instrument stores, they themselves know a lot about instruments, okay? It's not like some random person woke up one day and they said, okay, I'm, today I'm going to start a musical instrument business. No, because these people who own these musical instrument stores, they know a lot about instruments and the people who work there also know about instruments. So don't think that they don't know anything and they won't be able to help you. And that's the main reason I ask you all to go to a musical instrument store. And if you are in US, you have an advantage to actually rent these violins. You can rent them instead of buying them. Okay, so if you if you think that you are going to play violin or learn violin for you know a given certain time or period or just like a hobby, then go for a rental one. And I don't know if that if that option is available in India or not, but definitely ask them if they can rent the violin for a couple of days so that you know uh, when you are in, still in the initial stage of playing and you know the bowing and all those things, you know you'll try and practice on them. And this is the another reason I say you all to join a government music college or a music school. Why? Because they will only provide you the violence. You don't even have to buy a violin. You go there and you'll have tons of violence there and then you can choose one and sit and play. And then you just drop it off there and you know come back home. So for all these reasons, please, please, please do not buy a violin online. Okay, like I said, each violin is different. I'll tell you my own story, okay? This one is F.R. Fretschner. So if you look inside through this, um, you know, through this inside, every violin has a sticker inside. You know, there's a sticker of the person who created this violin or the company that created it, okay? This is F.R. Fretschner. Okay, and I bought this violin here in US for $650, okay. These FR Freshner violins are European handcrafted violins and these are exclusively made for Sam Ash. Okay, Sam Ash is a musical instrument store here in US. 
so these are made here for those uh, for samash mainly okay but you can get these online also but here is the thing when i went to buy this violin i loved the sound of this okay like i said i go into a music store and then play it and listen to it and you know sit down and see if it's comfortable in carnatic style and all those things now what i found was if you see there is a small damage here okay that it's not a crack but looks like something fell on it and you know the wood got a little bit chipped off okay so the owner said you know i'm going to bring in another exact same violin then you can you know decide he actually got two more of these same violins exactly same two more of these none of those two sounded the same and i didn't like the sound of those two either i loved the sound of this one rather than those two which didn't have any damage so i actually bought this violin with this damage itself and i don't know maybe because of this damage it's sounding the way it sounds right so each and every violin is different you know just like each and every one of us is different each and every violin is different each and every violin sounds different okay each and every violin's make is different so don't think that you know if you know a particular violin's brand you can just go online and buy it no you should always 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 try the violin in your hand play it hear the sound feel the violin and then buy okay so if you are a beginner please 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 take your teacher to a musical instrument store and have them select a violin if not you can go to the instrument store and they will also help you the owners and the workers who work there they'll also help you or one other thing you can do is go to the music instrument store ask the people there to play you know they can at least just do the open string they don't have to play a big song or something just the open strings record it record at least five to six instruments send it to your teacher and ask them which one sounds better okay when they say which one it is then go ahead and buy that violin okay now if you say none of this works and you still want to buy something online if you're a very beginner i say go with something in the 5000 to 6000 range okay don't go beyond that because if you really think that you are going to play violin if you think uh, and if you have that zeal and you know passion to become a violinist i say invest in a very good violin and like 20000 30000 rupees if you can buy such a violin do not buy it online if you're buying something in a big range and you want something very nice go to the store play it feel it and then buy it okay i'll give a very simple example so we indians understand it much better because we indians are obsessed with gold right so see say you're getting married and you know you of course you go buy gold right so if you're a bride right um, you want to buy all the jewelry okay what do you do are you going to go online to a gold jewelry store online store and then select the design that you like and then just add to the cart and ju it just gets shipped is that what you're going to do never right you will go to a gold jewelry shop you'll ask the guy to show the jewelry you'll tell them whether you want the long ones or the short ones or you know in this particular range whether it's a, for a wedding or some occasion whatever it is right you tell them and they show you the designs from so many of these designs you choose one particular jewelry right you love that but are you going to buy it no because first you're going to try it on yourself when you try it on yourself if it looks good on you only then you buy it right it might not look good on you then what are you going to go are you going to still buy it no just because the design is good doesn't mean that it looks good on you right so you'll go for a different design okay now you put it on it looks great on you you want to buy it what are you going to do are you just going to pay the amount and go no you will check each and everything on that jewelry right whether all the links are right whether the stones are installed properly whether there are any damages on the uh, necklace or not and then you negotiate and then you buy that's exactly the same thing you're supposed to do with a violin 
do not buy online do not buy violence not just violence any acoustic instrument do not buy them online okay this is my humble request and uh, please go to a musical instrument store near you i know there is a lockdown right now in india so once the lockdown uh, is lifted off and everything gets to normal maybe in a couple of months now then you can go and buy a violin okay so in this time period if you think okay you know i just can't sit idle i want to do something and i really need a violin and i want to buy a violin online you're more than welcome to go online but do not spend like thousands of thousands of rupees on violins okay buy something in the 5000 range 5000 6000 range that should be more than enough for you buy that and start okay then once the lockdown is lifted and everything go to a musical instrument stores play it listen to it feel it and then buy the instrument okay so hope that was helpful okay so again i request you all never to buy a violin online unless you're sure okay unless you're sure that's what you actually need okay so um, hope this was helpful and please do share it with you know any of the other beginners that think um, you know they they want to buy a violin online so do let them know why you don't want to okay oh uh, and this like i said this is f f r frechner and you usually get these in us uh, maybe europe too and the cost is 650 dollars okay so if you are in us you pro you can go to sam ash s a m a s h and you, you can buy these violins um, now if you are in india unfortunately do not buy something online because like i said and the another reason being the shipping you will end up paying double the price on shipping than the actual price of the violin okay and also my uh, my cantini which is a white electric violin that i play many people ask that one too that is a cantini violin cantini earphonic and its price is 1600 dollars here in us okay which i think it's the same in india and in india there are two dealers one in kochi and i think another one in karnataka somewhere in bangalore or some other place but there are only two dealers in india and uh, it's almost the same price there too okay and the yamaha violin the brown yamaha electric violin that i play that one is 600 dollars here in us i think it's almost the same in india too but again you know you might end up paying on the shipping and it might be a little bit costlier there okay so hope this was helpful and uh, uh, like i said please share with someone who wants to buy a violin hope this helps them too okay see you next time bye bye